Good morning, VI. Now, don't you wish sometimes you could stop the clock, turn back time, and remain forever young? Youth is good, but sometimes it's a little overrated. On today's show especially, we're going to meet some older, fabulous people who are going to teach us that living and aging well is not only timeless, but priceless. So stay tuned to today's Good Morning VI as we live and age well. Good morning. Good morning, Virgin Islands, and good morning, Caribbean. Welcome to Good Morning VI. It's the morning show for you to start your day right and walk through your day right. I'm Denise, and along with Lisandra and Dolores, we aim to inform you and inspire you as we cover a variety of interesting topics important to our everyday lives and to our community. Well, on today's topic, we're talking all about living and aging well. Mm -hmm. Now, we all want to get old, right? Yeah, we want to grow old. Yeah, I mean, the option. only alternative <laughs> to growing old is to die young. <laughs> Who wants to do that, right? So the key is, is to grow older well. And on today's show, we are going to have experts. That's good. That, and they are going to tell us all about living a vibrant, healthy life as we grow older. Yeah. Right, Isandra? Yes, they're going to show us techniques so that we can stay healthy for tomorrow, oh. keep active and keep looking good. Right, Dolace? Yes. Because right? right. today, wait, before you go on, because mm. today Dolace is going to tell us her age on the oh, show. Yeah. So stay tuned, please. Anyway, go ahead, Dolace. And so at a youthful 22. <laughs> <laughs> keeps getting younger. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I'm going to meet said 25 some, uh, I, I'm going to meet some other young people like myself who happen to be you know, <laughs> older. <Okay. laughs> but they have youthful spirits. And we're going to meet some of these um, older people who live in a, they've lived in age well. Yeah. Okay. Like me. <laughs> 25. <laughs> well, before we get to all that, as you know, we start our program right. Yes, so we start right. with a prayer, a scripture, and a word of encouragement. And Lisandra translates the scripture and the prayer in, from English to Spanish for our Spanish-speaking viewers. Good morning, Father. We thank you for this day in our lives and praise you for the blessings of peace, joy, vibrant health, and healing that you make available to us through your grace and loving kindness. We open our hearts to your guidance and wisdom as we go through our day, and as we place our full trust in you, we look forward to a bright future with divine health, power, and victory in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Buenos días, Padre. Le damos gracias por este nuevo día en nuestras vidas. Y te alabamos por las bendiciones de paz, alegría, salud vibrante y curación que haces disponible a través de tu gracia y bondad. Abrimos nuestros corazones para recibir tu orientación y sabiduría durante nuestro día y ponemos toda nuestra confianza en usted, en espera de un futuro brillante con salud divina, poder y victoria en nuestras, vid en nuestras vidas. En nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. And that brings us to our scripture for today. And the scripture comes from the book of Psalms. And that is Psalm 92, chapter, uh, section, uh, verse 12 through 14. The godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon, for they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, 
they will still produce fruit, they will remain vital and green. Oh. Salmos 92, 12 a 14. Los justos florecerán como las palmeras, crecerán como los cedros del Líbano, serán plantados en la casa del Señor y florecerán en los atrios de nuestro Dios. Aún en su vejez darán frutos y se mantendrán sanos y vigorosos. So now we get to our word of encouragement. And our word of encouragement today, we are created to have a personal relationship in faith with God and to live a productive life with strength and vitality, even in our old age. So growing old is not something to be feared, but rather a blessing to embrace enthusiastically. Living a healthy lifestyle, spiritually, emotionally, and physically can assure us continued growth, vitality, accomplish, vibrant health, energy, and joy throughout our senior years. We can get better with age. Whew. You hear that, Dulace? Yeah, that I, was a mouthful, but listen, we can't get better can, with age. We do get better. <laughs> Let me tell you, disclaimer, you know, my whole thing about this age thing, mm -hmm. why do people need to know? Right, as long as you're vibrant and healthy and vital <laughs> and making a contribution and productive, Hey, you're just as valuable. That's All true. of a sudden, you put a number on it. People are like, "Oh, you're so old. We're gonna put you in a corner." Or, "Oh, you're too young." Or, you know, "Oh, you're that age. Why? Why aren't you married? Why don't you have kids? Oh, oh, you're too old to be living yeah. at home with your mom." People Putting just numbers put on numbers things. on things. Yeah. I don't do numbers very well, I know. <laughs> except for money. But that's a different show altogether. Yeah. Talking about numbers, you yeah. saw how the scripture talked about being fruitful, fruitful. at an old age. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, and now we have all these stars having children at, you know, 50. This is that's true. That's not all. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Oh. You know, before, no, before, you know, <laughs> persons were judgmental and they were like, oh my goodness, no, sure. after 40, no more. But now we're yeah. seeing that, you know, it's trending for, that's you know, true. women yeah. to have children at an older age and that's and, good. And, and being fruitful is not only with children because you're fruitful from yeah. bearing fruit, just yes. accomplishment yes. in life and exactly. producing things and you know, Starting great things, new yeah. things that it doesn't, new it doesn't end, it actually keeps going. And in fact, remember when you get <clears throat> older, um, you actually get wiser and so yes. you're better at a lot of things exactly. that you yes. weren't very good at, you know, mm -hmm. when you were 18. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see that throughout like the like, show. We're going to see yeah. that throughout the show. Mm -hmm. That's that true. We look, that, that you know what? 50 is the new 30, not even the new 40. <sighs> even then, timeless, you see, right? it's just timeless, numbers. right? It's just it's timeless. Number. Being it's fabulous is just numbers. timeless. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it all has to do with the concept. I think when people yeah. talk about, oh, they're afraid to go older, it's really the concept of what old age is yeah. or, or getting older is, like being, you know, That's I don't know, true. weak or, or whatever, not having strength. Um, but really, if you change your concept, you realize, you know, you really do yeah. want to get older. Yes, you really you do. Want to, I mean, yeah, and you, you know, who wants to die young? You Nobody want to wants continue to die. living well and doing, you know, a lot of the things that you yeah. usually yeah. do and you can. Mm -hmm. and, and then, That's you know, usually as you get older, then let's say if you had a family, the kids gone off to college, everything. You, you are loaded. You don't have those responsibilities. Well, you Boy, you got it. all the time Ooh. to yourself. So, I mean, you better. Yeah, I'm it's telling you. better. Better and better and better, yeah. right? So, of course, <laughs> let's not waste any more time. Yes. So, we will be uh, coming up next on Good Morning BI. We will continue our discussion on aging and living well. So, stay tuned to Good Morning BI. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Good morning, BI. Welcome back to Good Morning VI, where we're talking about living well, aging well. And we have with us registered dietitian, Alice Henry, and she's the assistant nutritionist at the Department of Human Services, Senior Citizens Affairs. And we want to welcome her today. She's gonna to talk to us all about eating well, to live well and age well and look good all the time, right? All, all the time? Yes. Right. That's all, all the time. time. All the time. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Yeah, but I like what y'all are talking about, about eating and aging well. 
Because a lot of the diseases that we think of when we, when we start to age, diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, things like that, we can alleviate, we can, we can control mm -hmm. if, we can, if we pay attention to what we put in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And that's what, as a dietitian, that's what I teach people how to do, mm -hmm. how to age well by controlling and, and just trying to eat better mm -hmm. overall. Okay, and, and, and preventing also, of course. Absolutely, prevention. absolutely. That's the main part, that's the main part. Because if we start eating well mm -hmm. and not putting too much of the unhealthy foods into our bodies, okay. we'll be able to age well. Because a lot of it starts at a younger age. Yeah. And if we start, you know, early on, mm -hmm. then as we get older, a lot of the things that, you know, a lot of the diseases wouldn't happen. Or the, okay, or the, especially or the chances the are reduced. Mm -hmm. A lot of the conditions yeah. that are associated with old age and bad conditions, you're saying that it starts out from habits from young. Exactly. So, it does. It does. Okay. But, that does but that doesn't rule Sometimes. out the fact that, like you said, uh, I can't remember exactly what was said as far as, as, far as the scripture. Yeah, because like they were saying, like this, like the psalm says, even in old age, people can still produce fruit. Yeah. So when you get older, mm -hmm. even if you have diabetes, even if you have heart disease, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you have to throw caution to the wind and say there's nothing I can do. Right. Okay. You can always start somewhere and make necessary changes. Oh, okay, so it's good. never too late it's to never start too eating late. right. Wow. And, oh, never okay, too great. late. Never too late. You know, a lot of older people, like apparently my great grandfather, you know, he's like, well, something's gonna kill you anyway, so he just kept <laughs> eating. Just eat everything. All his anything. bad foods. He's like, well, I gotta. Die. But he died at like 125 years old. Yeah. So, you know, oh, whatever. Yeah. Well, hey, hey. You know what you're talking about. Yeah. So what is that yeah, about? That. Yeah. Well, what people will tell me is that, it, like you said, it doesn't matter because I'm going to die anyway. Yeah. But what people don't realize is that if you eat not so well, it takes it might take a long time before you pass on, and there are a lot of complications that can come. Like, so oh, you want okay. so then you won't live well. You won't right. live well. You, you, know, you live might perfect. live, you but you won't live, live well. well. Yeah. Exactly. 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 So the idea exactly. is to live long, but live well. Well, well, exactly. That's the key, really. Yeah, yeah. That you know, is enjoy key. your life. Why to be full of That's life true. while you're alive? Precisely. So, so give us some tips on you know eating well so that we can live well. Okay. What I did, I brought today okay. this this plate, and All I right. want to show the viewers okay. and everybody okay. what we can do as far as arranging our plate. Okay. And it's very simple because what you do is you look at the plate, of course, as as, as a circle, mm -hmm. and you divide it in half. Okay. okay. And on this side, on the left-hand side, you'll see fruits and vegetables. Most of us don't put our fruits on the plate. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll have it have separately. It separate, yeah. What we should do is try to have half of our plate be vegetables. Ugh. Which is good. I, like I, I love vegetables. I love vegetables. I'm sorry. I, love vegetables. I love vegetables. But, you, I love vegetables. but this is a good plate. I yeah. like the size, and I like the, the, you know, the, the portion, portion size. Right. right. So that's accurate. That's what we should use. It's like a quarter it, protein, actually, a quarter grain. Yeah, bad. actually. Yeah. But you know what? We what we you're not supposed to cheat. Like you, I'm not saying pile up your plate and like have it <laughs> real high. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To fit in the little um, triangle. Unless exactly. it's the vegetables. Unless we can it's always the vegetables. pile vegetables. Yum! I love vegetables. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so like, and when I'm talking about vegetables, I mean the non-starchy vegetables. Because you know we have our provisions. We have yeah. potatoes. You know, tiny mm -hmm. yams, sweet potatoes, things like that. Mm -hmm. Those are fine. But I'm talking about like the green vegetables, things like okay. spinach. Okay. So. Put your spinach there. Green beans. And put our yes, green beans, beans there. Cauliflower, carrots. Okay. Even broccoli. Broccoli, exactly. Or kale. Lettuce. Or even a regular salad. Salad. Right? And this is, this is what I like to talk about as far as, as, far as being a starter vegetable. Mm -hmm. If you're not used to vegetables, because some people just don't like them in, in, you know, in general. Right. So if you have a salad, that's a, way, that's a starting point, because most everybody can eat a salad with some okay. salad dressing mm -hmm. on it. Okay. But I want you to work up to the darker vegetables, greens, okay. the darker greens, or anything such as the carrots, the things that are deep in color. Okay. Right. Because with the, with, the veg, with the salad, you have the lettuce, but it's light. It doesn't have a lot of nutrients there. Okay. Uh, so like I say, it's a starting point, but I want to work up to the darker green vegetables. Darker or one thing that you could do is put raw spinach mm -hmm. in your salad, or kale, which is really great. Right? Or kale. Exactly, or right. kale. Okay. Mm. But For one of the things kale. with kale, kale is wonderful and it's in the, in the news a lot lately. Yes, it is. But, yeah, it is. But some of the elderly, if they're on, on warfarin or any of the other blood thinners, Okay. They have to be careful with the dark green vegetables and kale okay. because that'll mm. that'll go against the the whole thing about about thinning the blood. The blood. Thinning. Oh. It'll actually act okay. as a coagulant. Okay. But, but, but then uh. for that matter, then kale and those things may be good for let's say for a healthy diet. But if people have conditions, exactly, then they probably need anyway you. to go to a dietitian to see right. which would be best. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. exactly. Okay, 
And so I don't see um, fruits. Well, yeah, fruits are there. The fruits would be on the side. Oh, okay. So the we fruits put would these be on, on the side. side. So like grapes. The grapes, dark. which are, are fruit, with, which is a, a fresh fruit. Okay. And yeah. then also if you want to do oranges. a canned food, you could do like oranges or applesauce. Oh, I always like so to do So applesauce counts as applesauce counts as a fruit? Absolutely. Absolutely. In a sauce form? In a sauce form. But this as long is good. it is good, but as long as you don't have any added sugar to it. Okay, I was going to say because yeah. some of them have really a lot of a lot sugar of yes. and preservatives. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So you can get the the natural one that doesn't have any sugar added to it. It doesn't taste good. Eight, you That's know, it. You people, okay, it. Oh, and this, so. this is, but this is a good thing though. I like this. You know why? Because I get this all the time. Miss Henry, <laughs> eating well doesn't taste good. No. And what I like to tell people is this: you have to give your taste buds at least three weeks to get used to something new. Mm. And yes, it might taste different. It's not that it doesn't taste good. It's, it's just a different. different. Mm. It's, because don't we make your face like that. No, it's just we've been conditioned with the sugar, the salt, exactly. The okay. okay. But if you yeah. make that first effort to make the change, give yourself three weeks. And if at the end of the three weeks you're, you, still you, you, it, it still doesn't taste good, then move on to another another um, vegetable or another fruit <coughs> that you might like better. Yeah. And but give yourself that opportunity but, to make that change. But in, in, yeah, in the minute we have, right, right? Some of these things do taste good, right? So yeah. like I, mac yeah. and cheese. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh -huh. Mac and cheese doesn't, well, why is healthy? mac and cheese and healthy? What? And brown I, I gave it, I gave it to show the portion size. Okay. Because what, when we um, when we fix our place, we usually put a lot of starches on our place. The macaroni and cheese, the, the rice, right, um, especially with mashed potatoes. Right. Exactly. This is Provisions. the amount we should be eating? This is the no serving size should that. go the grains or the or the starches should go in this part of the plate. And the that's protein. It. So and we that, shouldn't have like the macaroni and stuffing. And rice and beans. You can you can have a combination, but as long as it it's all fits in, it, it's within fits the in that all section of, them. of the plate, exactly. <laughs> and if you go back for seconds, <laughs> you see how am I supposed yeah, to help people say. if you all are laughing? <laughs> you're supposed to encourage. I listen. I'm with you. Cut your macaroni in a third. But I hear what you're saying, and, and I get your this rice, all. And I, your stuffing. I, in a third. I, I get this I'm all the you. time. But but if you're if you're gonna go for seconds, <laughs> right? If you do want seconds of the of the of the of the stuffing and and the and the Mac macaroni. Right. Also get vegetables at the same time. The reason being is the vegetables will also help you feel fuller. Yeah, It'll okay. add the fiber. So, eat less. so you're not going to pile up your plate with, with the starches. Because actually, you, we do in general get too much starch. And we, okay. we need, do need to try to reduce that um, in our overall okay. and if we want to And if we want to live well and age well, this then we, we need to follow this yeah. advice. And you know what? We'll be right back with more on living well and aging well right here on Good Morning VI. So stay tuned. Well. To tune in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. Welcome back to Good Morning VI, where we're talking about living well and aging well. And so far, we've been speaking with Alice Henry, registered dietitian, who's been very helpful. And Alice, we have a couple more questions for you. But joining you on the couch is, okay, and Okay, tell me. Rose Ann Farrington, who is a director of very many things. Was that age? <laughs> I like that. That was age? I want to know if that was age. <laughs> that, that, that was... No, that's being 25 gets you. But anyway, there but Rose Ann. Get your mom. But Rose Ann, you're, you're a director of very many of, of volunteer programs over at the um, Department of Human Services. And what are some of those programs? That Correct. Um, the, I am director. I have oversight over three programs, foster grandparent, retired senior volunteer, and senior Medicare patrol. So okay, they're what all is senior Medicare patrol. Senior Medicare patrol. It's a program that we have designed for persons that are Medicare recipients okay. that um, actually would go out to the community and do outreach informational sessions to members of the general public on um, preventing Medicare fraud. 
Oh, yes. okay. very, very nice. Okay, and these are volunteer programs. Correct. Because all the people who work for you volunteer to do so. Is this correct? Exactly. And are, are most of these people older persons? Um, for the SMP, Senior Medicare Patrol, okay. those would be individuals that are 65 years or older. For the other two programs, they're for individuals that are 55 years or older. So older. most of the persons, yes, have worked, are retired, mm -hmm. and are now um, exploring avenues mm -hmm. where they could utilize their time wisely, share their experience okay. and all of their knowledge within our community. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and all vital programs. All vital programs. Yes. Now, and of course, to volunteer, you have to be healthy, right? Right, Alice? <laughs> Very important. <laughs> so we get That's back a must. Yeah. Right? So you're walking around dis disseminating information. You've got to be able to That's right. be strong. While exactly. You're and exactly. this is where a, a good diet comes in. I'm right, sure. right. The, the one thing I want to leave um, as far as, as, as dealing with the elderly population is variety. And, yeah. that's, and that, goes for any, that goes for any group of, of individuals as far as what they should be eating. Um, so the question you know, might come up, why the macaroni and cheese? You know, the cheese is unhealthy, too much, too much sodium. Mm -hmm. But I don't, as a dietitian, I don't want to take away everything from individuals. Right, right. You can't say, okay, no macaroni and cheese, no cake, no. Okay. Yeah. I try you to, won't live well because then you're not eating what you and, want. And, and, you're, and you're unhappy. unhappy. <laughs> you're unhappy, you're munching on a carrot. Yeah, exactly. So I try, to, I try to work whatever food that person that likes. Mm -hmm. I try to work it in. Sometimes you do have to take things away, but I, I try to work everything in, but it's balanced. It's, it's okay. a, that's the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that's yes. where the portions come the in. Por exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. okay. And so now, so I'm healthy, I'm out there, I'm volunteering. That also contributes to my well-being, right, exactly. as an older person. I mean, what, what are some of the benefits that you yeah, see? Yeah, volunteering. Yeah. Why volunteer anyway? It alleviates instances of depression. Mm -hmm. um, persons are more active. Mm -hmm. uh, statistics have shown if you're more active, you're making a meaningful contribution, you feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. Increased self-esteem, self-confidence. Mm -hmm. um, you're overall healthier, feeling healthier. Mm -hmm. So psychologically. Um, exactly. All those endorphins and everything, those are being released so you mm -hmm. feel... I guess okay. it also uh, helps you to feel like important, useful, you know, productive, useful. because they exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Useful. because exactly. after, let's say, retirement, at a certain, you know, you, you're doing something and keeping it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And I, I tell people that are here and nationally, it's a blessing to have access to these programs. Mm -hmm. Because where I'm from, um, St. Vincent, there's basically, you have to reinvent the wheel. What do I do right. after retirement? So right. oh. having access to these programs that are actually government run, mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a blessing, so I encourage and I urge anyone who um, are making their retirement plans that you factoring, volunteering right. in those plans yeah. because it's an excellent way of utilizing your time. And, and then helping resources. people too. Exactly. Yeah, because you know what, I think, you know, after you retire, mm -hmm. you know, I've heard, you know, a lot of retirees come they're through bored. our offices, exactly, yeah. they're bored, or again, you know, they don't feel that their life has any meaning anymore, because you know, a lot of us wrap our lives around our jobs, our jobs. Our jobs. Our jobs. Mm -hmm. our so imagine yeah. after you retire, okay, what to do, okay, you're helping, you know, the grands, and you know, maybe mm -hmm. you're going to visit your children, but then you're not part of like the greater the community, society, community -wise. Yeah. you know, yes. greater society, make it that yes. doing something, make it still making a contribution right, yeah. to the community, exactly. and I think, you know, volunteering does that for you yeah, yeah. But, but through, through but through <laughs> being fruitful but then through your office do you do you go out and actually you know we do solicit we do. older persons to become involved because i've never heard of any of these programs oh anymore. that's that's horrible I but, know. <laughs> but that's why you're here yeah, that's, exactly that's why you're here to increase yeah. awareness know, yes right. but um we explore um whether it's through the medical clinics where the seniors may be frequent in or within different civic organizations rotary or different um um, if there are different events community-wide, mm -hmm. we're invited and we come and we share information mm -hmm. and we encourage. Maybe not, we may not always be presenting to senior citizens, but mm -hmm. they may have family or relatives that can utilize our services. We so can benefit right. from this. That's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, and it really gets them, gets everyone out, like out in to events and functions. Exactly. And, yeah. like that. and to, to also, you know, to also to. interact with their peers. And you know, it's it's just another world. You know, instead of just staying home and being with family, it's just you know you're with it's your parents, you're with others, you know, who have the an same outlet. experiences that you have. You know, so it's really volunteering is just it's just the way. That's to something to look forward so, to. So so we need to get all our older persons, fifty five and older, involved all, in the program. All, all of our older. Don't use numbers because I don't, don't use numbers. Yeah, limit to 
<laughs> no, it's, it's Miss Farrington. It's the government. The government says you can only be 55 and older and volunteer. I, know, but I would I love to older. volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because what I think that intergenerational kind of, you know. We have that exchange too. of youth and experience. Exactly. Yeah. The 25-year-old, the 55. I would love to be that yes. 25 year I don't know if when yeah. I volunteer, we're not 55. I want anybody 25. <gasps> <laughs> I don't want these young people. Anyway, no. <laughs> this is like, get out of here. That's <laughs> volunteering. Yeah. I get that from my seniors. You were so young. Yeah. What are you <laughs> Why are you I in said, this program? I said, well, you will glean from my youth and I will from your experience. But good, good, good. Good interchange. Good but in, until then. So give us a number where we can call, I mean, website, something, because I'm sure people will want this information. Um, the number that they can call would be 340-774-0930. And my direct extension is 4339. Okay, so we're so, asking for Roseanne Farrington. To... Correct. May I please speak? with Director Farrington. <laughs> My mother needs Nothing. to volunteer. There That's go. what we're doing. Oh, yes. There you go. No, 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 because it's good. It's good. And, you know, after she speaks to Miss Farrington, she'll be convinced. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. I like that. <laughs> and on that Let's note, thank up. you so much, Miss Farrington, for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having us. us. Living well, aging well. Only on Good Morning VI. Welcome back to Good Morning B.I. as we are talking about living and aging well. All about getting older with continued vitality and fun. Now, who we have on our set right now? We have Sean Miller. And yes. Sean, you are the assistant administrator of Senior Citizens Affairs, right? Yes, Department of Human Services. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, Thanks for having to me Good today. Morning B.I. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. That's great. Great. Thank you. So what is it? Okay, you're talking about senior citizen affairs. What is it that we can look forward to or, you know, as we go into our senior years? Okay, where um, some people might re have been retired, kids mm -hmm. gone off to college or wherever, they're out of the house and like freedom bells. What, what to look forward <laughs> to? Well, what, what is it like? In a, in a lot of ways, the senior citizen affairs program offers, like Ms. Farrington said, some volunteer opportunities, mm -hmm. but we also provide opportunities for seniors who may not be able to get out, to have some ability to have some, some socializing. They, they, they come out to the, the centers, we have mm -hmm. senior centers, mm -hmm. and they come out to the centers and they have an, an opportunity to socialize with other folks their age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have- um, Is there a pickup service for them? Yeah, we do. We, oh. we provide transportation okay. um, to and from, and throughout the week we have activities for them. Yeah, like um, Mando, tell us about the activities. Well, some of the activities <laughs> include um, shopping. We take them shopping. Like food shopping? Or food food shopping. shopping. Oh, wow. Oh, that's food how, shopping and to the mall. No, shopping. no, we do. We do yeah. a wide variety <laughs> of things. The mall. Food shopping yes. to the mall. Yes. They have opportunities to go and play bingo. Ooh. They go to the casino. Ooh. They they take um, trips around the island. To the beaches. To the beaches. Oh, wow. yes. Yes. Yeah. So in some cases, on the we have uh, some. Yes. In some cases, they travel from one island to the next. Oh, wow. They participate in different activities that the program oh, has. Well. Um, the seniors to be a part of the center. Yeah. Oh, there's, the there's center. No there's no cost. Oh, there's no cost. There's, yeah. no cost. there's no cost. There's no cost. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so, so that's like even for seniors who may somehow not have transportation and be or feel shut in. Is that it? Yes, Correct. definitely. So that's that's a volunteer. whole. That's the whole idea. Out there exactly. And, uh, that's the whole idea that's behind the okay. centers. Yeah. So for for uh, uh, seniors who are retired and they want an opportunity to have some place to go. To spend a day, to get out of the home, feel right. involved. Right. Oh, okay, great. That's right. the whole you know, cause. There's also yeah. the a whole thing about staying mentally active. To be there stimulated. Problems where they can learn. Oh, oh yeah, we have new things. We okay. have at the center. At the oh, center, yeah. we oh. have lots of activities for them. Um, 
we just um, had um, some partnership between Human Services and the VA NGN, mm -hmm. and we've um, installed computers there so mm -hmm. that they they have classes around. Okay, so they know, can learn the computer. They can learn computer computers. And yeah, and remember now, GRS is 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 issuing their um, checks via electronically. Uh, yeah, electronically. So. Uh -huh. Access, accessing information as well. Mm -hmm. They have all of that information okay. available yeah, to so them. Any other types of classes that if people want to just exercise? They, they, have, exercise, they have exercise classes. Yes. They have art classes. Mm -hmm. You know, they do a whole slew of um, uh, things. And, and they, you can they take learn a new skill. They're right? also exactly. they do skills. they do rugs. They do a whole crafts, lot of things. A lot of crafts, crafts and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so we just so I'm just calling you <laughs> and getting my mother involved in these things is this what you're saying to me that well if you if you call there. me uh -huh. if you call me uh -huh. i will refer you to the to the appropriate person appropriate. or persons okay. Are but you all, uh, go ahead. i'm sorry but we do have opportunities where we do some outreach okay. as a program okay. um in the community and we we give information out um at those functions okay. you know we do it all year long okay. any opportunity we get because again it's it Providing the service, if you can't get the information out to people, right. what's, mm -hmm. the point? what's the point? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. And um, just, just quickly, also at the University of the Virgin Islands, um, do you do anything in connection with that, or well, enable you know seniors? You one know, of to, our programs take courses. And one study of our programs sure within them. within the, the the department does that. The CSEP program, mm -hmm. we okay. we have for for persons who may want to go back out and actually find a job. Mm -hmm. We have um, opportunities for them, if they're not skilled, to be able to get some educational um, classes, mm -hmm. um, computer classes, to help them to be in a better position to, oh. to become employed after, after volunteering. Yes, yes. Oh, after so volunteering for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much wow. for joining us. And, You're and, welcome. And we'll be right back as we continue with our discussion about aging well. Thank you. When we get back on Good Morning B.I. Welcome back to Good Morning VI, where we've been talking about living well and aging well. And on set with us is an older person who's managed to do both very well. We have Dr. George Newton, who's a retired yep. principal. Welcome, Dr. Newton. Yeah, you're a retired you. principal and a tennis pro, I understand. Is it's tennis right. one of the reasons you're able to it's live and age so well? Well, interesting. Um, a true story. Mm -hmm. Um, a young lady, she and I went to school together. Mm -hmm. She came, she lived in New York, she came back to St. Thomas, came to Gomez School, checked me out. She said, I want to visit, I'm visiting because, you know, this year we made 45. Oh. And I'm not doing very well. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how are you doing? I said, well, I play tennis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because in tennis, I looked forward to becoming 45. Mm -hmm. okay. When I became 45, I look forward to becoming 50 okay. because it's a five-year span mm -hmm. of, for competition. Oh, I become okay. a young 50-year-old. 50, 50 okay. I become a young 55-year-old. Okay. All right? So next year, I'm a young 75-year-old. Oh, wow. wow. And you're still playing. And I'm still right. competing. I know, because I, I met your wife a couple of months ago, and she was saying something like you were participating in a tournament up That's in Florida. And I was That's like, correct. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. 75. Yeah. Um, within the last five years, I've been to the, the, the national tournament. Uh, each year, I've been oh. to the na national tournament. So you've actually gotten better with age. That is correct. I ah, ah. love it. Yeah. Well, okay, so in, that, in, fact, <laughs> in fact, a friend of mine met me a couple of weeks ago, and he said he hadn't seen me for about, probably about eight years. Mm -hmm. He said, you look better now. Than oh, you did eight, eight years ago. Eight years ago. Then, right. Okay, so, so we've got the physical part down. Yes. But what do you do spiritually? Because you're retired now. I mean, you're I no am. longer a principal. So what are some of the things you do to keep yourself youthful and, and aging gracefully mentally and, and spiritually? Well, 
uh, I eat less. Portion control. We learned about that today. Yes. I eat yes. less than I used to. It helps. It helps. Are you more careful I, about what you eat too? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, my wife been very careful in providing the, the, the juicing. Mm -hmm. okay. You know that blend, that green stuff? Yes. yes. So I, I, I do that every morning religiously. Oh, wow. Okay. You okay. see? And then I, I still can eat, uh, well, I don't eat the pork chop anymore, mm -hmm. but I can still eat a steak when I want to. Okay. You okay. see? And, in moderation. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, in moderation. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I do eat, uh, I mean, get that green stuff in, in okay. my system mm -hmm. okay. because okay. they tell me it's good for me. Good okay. for your energy, and you need that all that energy and you when need you're that. playing tennis. Oh, like oh yeah, tennis. you need that. You yeah. need that. And and the idea is about aging. You you got to keep moving. Okay. Okay. You you got to keep moving. Okay. And and tennis provides that. The movement for mm -hmm. the you. The movement for. And then you. the and interaction, it, and you that's, know, that's you're correct. out there. The competition keeps you going. So that's mentally, correct. you have a lot to and, look and, forward and, to. And and um, you provided challenges. I mean, yeah. you know, for instance, I'm um, in August. I'm playing a national tournament in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm looking forward to that. I have to train for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. see. So uh, the discipline of waking up every day and, and getting out there correct. and hitting balls. Right. There's no mm -hmm. there's no place to go and get drunk. Okay. Correct. Because you <laughs> gotta be you have to be training. Right. That's correct. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. What about so. mentally though and spiritually? Mentally, what have okay. You been doing? Well, mentally, uh, I read a lot. Okay. okay. And I write a lot. Okay. okay. In, so you're fact, in fact, right now, in a, probably in a month. I have a book uh, coming out, which would, uh, the name of it is Sweet, Sweet Addiction. Sweet, mm. Sweet and Addiction. It's about. And it's my tennis story. Okay. okay. And when did you start tennis? I mean, what? I started at a late age. Mm -hmm. um, What's that? 33. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you were older when you started. <laughs> <laughs> I was, older. But I you was kept older. It up. Yeah. In fact, um, most tennis players, I mean, those people on the circuit, mm -hmm. they would have been retiring at 32, 33. Okay, but that's that's when I got started. started. Mm -hmm. okay. So when I got started, I, I got into it uh, as if I, I was addic addicted. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's your sweet, sweet addiction. That's the title of the that's book. That's correct. Gotcha. Now, that, okay. that in itself would bring some strain at home because my wife wants me to t help her take care of the children, but I'm out on a tennis court someplace. Yeah. yeah. You see. But eventually she realizes that, wait a minute, this is good for him. Yeah. Because right. I know where my husband is. Oh, oh right. Okay. okay. So then it's good for her. Yes. Good I guess so. Mr. Newton, listen, 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 we could go on all day. I'm sure you have yes, 75 yes. years worth of tales with yes. which to regale us. However, yes. Yes. we're going to wrap it up. And thank you so much for coming here and being yes. an inspiration for living well and aging well. Dr. Oh, Newton. I'm, I'm delighted. Great to have you. And when, thank you when for my coming. Book, when my book comes out. Send us a copy. We'll be, yes. We'll see you yeah, again. Yes. I'll be back. Stay tuned to Good Morning VI. Living well, aging well. Thank you very kindly. It's time to tune in. Good morning, morning. This is the day of the Lord. Good morning, VI. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, VI, and welcome back. We're talking about living well, aging well, and I went to the house of a fabulous senior. Let's see what we talked about right here on Good Morning VI. Good morning, VI, and we're here in Mrs. Deanna Rogers' beautiful home. It's such a pleasure to have her on our show and to invite us to her beautiful home. Welcome, welcome, and good morning, Lysandra. Welcome to my home where God and my family lives. First and foremost, I put God in front of everything. Wonderful. And when I put God in front, he just gave me such peace, joy, and comfort that I can achieve my goals, mm -hmm. knowing that he mm -hmm. is the runner, the front runner, mm -hmm. and I know wherever he guides me and he leads me is going to be in a good place. Wonderful. And you are a retired accountant? Yes. Correct? Yes. And uh, presently, you are the events coordinator for your son who is Senator Clarence Payne. Spain, definitely. Okay. His campaign, that's yes. right. That's so you keep your mind active. I keep my mind active. And not only keeping my mind active, mm -hmm. I also attend gym daily. 
Okay, so I you go, go to the gym, gym daily? Five days a week. Oh my goodness. Five days a week. That is definitely the key. For how long? What you do? I've been going long? to the gym now for like the last five or more years. And to me, uh, in, in reading various books, mm -hmm. it, ha it, has, it has determined mm -hmm. that staying healthy and fit is one of the pluses of the senior life. Oh. It is really a plus. Once you, once you move, it, it allows your limb to, to stay um, free. It keeps the pressure down. It keeps you healthy. Mm -hmm. It keeps you more or less looking, gl uh, gl more or less glowing. So this is why you look. This that's is why, why you're glowing I do, now. That's why. And, I, and again, to, I eat well. Okay. I try to lay up as as much starches mm -hmm. and sugar as possible because okay. it does really nothing for you. Okay, so starches and sugar. I lay okay. off of that, and I okay. consume a lot of vegetables, mm -hmm. a lot of fruits, mm -hmm. drink a lot of liquids, a lot of water. Okay. Yes, and I do eat um, poultry and uh, certain types of meat, yes. Okay, and so fish. how do you keep your skin, though, specifically your skin? Oh, and you have, like skin. No, you have, like, no wrinkles. Well, how I keep None. My <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago, when I went to the States to, okay. to visit my daughter, mm -hmm. she took me to one of them, to a fashion fair um, consultant. Okay. And so they, you use fashion fair products. Yes, products. So you use in makeup. In, yes, in, yes. Its, in its entirety. <laughs> okay. it, it gives you the toner. Okay. It gives you the skin moisturizer. Okay. Yeah, with soap. Okay. I do not I only use a uh, white paper towel on my face. Mm -hmm. They tell you exactly how to clean your face. Okay. and how to care for your skin okay and it works it really works okay and then spiritually awesome. how do you keep yourself you know because you have a glow but you also have an inner an inner joy and an inner glow how do you okay. keep yourself i've always so always been active in, in um, church life okay. always been active i belong to frederick evangelical lutheran church okay. i attended there i was on the school teacher teacher there at the okay. church also. I also attend a, um, a Bible study at my sister church, mm -hmm. Christian Unity. I have been involved with church life for years. So mm -hmm. I know about Christ and I know what, what he does and what he can do. Because as a divorcee with four young kids, mm -hmm. when wow. I was growing up, I put Christ in front and he helped me because all my focus are degreed. I didn't allow myself to let out. And my focus was no problem to society, no else. Wonderful, and wonderful. And, and it was I'm with sure a, you're really, really proud. With the hand of God. Because presently, my son Clarence is a senator, mm -hmm. a man of integrity, and a man of sincerity, a man okay. is with demeanor. Okay. And I'm hoping that the public themselves could see the caliber of person that he is. Thank you for having us, Miss Rogers, in your beautiful home. It was really indeed a pleasure to be here. Your home is beautiful, and you gave us some wonderful tips on aging well and living well. Lissandra, it was a pleasure having you. And anytime you need me again, just call me. I am available. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. In Jesus' name, I Thank right. you. Okay, welcome. <laughs>
everything. So yeah. um, I always like to see that, you know, that gives, you know, everybody, yes. you know, to, to look forward to like, oh yeah, that's what, you know, Growing getting older old is about. Like, yeah. So yeah. you want to make birthdays, you want that, you know? Yes. So, yeah. so that's the key. So I really like that. So, okay. well, of course, now we have our assignment now for the week. And our assignment is start making healthy lifestyle changes, spiritually, physically, and emotionally to assure continued health, energy, and vitality as you grow older triumphantly. Yes, Love triumphantly. the, right. Love That's the, the positive. Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. And our confession. As I get older, I continue to grow and flourish in wisdom, joy, strength, vibrant health, energy and vitality i get better with age yes, we do. that's the confession and we're leaving you with that we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode of good, good morning vi it's time to tune in yeah 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 this is an